What is going on everyone? So welcome back to a new episode of my Tool Tales guide series and in this video we will be talking about the art of the trickster. Just quickly though if you are new to this channel and you are new to this series what this series is is me running through how to complete every single Tool Tales quest in the game. So if you are interested in that what I suggest you do is subscribe so you can be notified every time I do upload a new video and as of course this guide will be no nonsense and straight to the point. Also, there is a written version down in the description, so if you do get lost, refer to that. With that being said though, let's just get straight into the video. So for this one, I've broken it down to 10 steps, so let's get straight into the first one. To start this quest, you'll need to head to Plunder Valley. Once you are on Plunder Valley, head to the east side of the map, where you can find Salty. Just in front of Salty, there is a mission, vote for that, and you'll start the quest. Once you start the quest, you'll need to follow the path that is shown in the video, then head for a cave. You'll be staying on the first island for this step, so don't worry about it. Once you do get to the location that is shown in the video, what you'll need to do is pull out your book because you'll need to copy what the book says. You will notice that there are some skeletons lying around, so you'll need to read the book so you can work out where to move the arms of the skeletons. For example, if it says something like, the thief puts his mask down, you'll need to move the hand of the thief so the mask isn't by his face. It's really simple, just watch the video, you should be able to work it out from that. Once you have done all that, there should be a cage that drops from the ceiling, and from there, you'll need to collect some pages and a rum bottle. Once you have done that, you'll be on to step three. So for step three, you'll either need to head over to Discovery Ridge or stay on Plunder Valley. To find out where you need to go, just have a look at your book, it should tell you. What you'll be looking for is the Trap Master's keg. But before you can do that, you're gonna have to find two different items on your Destin Island, whether that be Plunder Valley or Discovery Ridge. And the way you can decipher that is by having a look at the page. You should see there is a new bird's eye logo. All you need to do is head to the location that the bird's eye somewhat shows. And then you'll notice if you're on the right spot, there should be a wooden plank on the ground. Once you do find that wooden plank, stand on that, aim your spyglass that you got from the cage to the locations that they mention in the book. And you should notice there is a little X. Once you find that X, dig there, and that is how you find each of the items. Now you have to do this two times before you get to the final one, which is the trap maker's keg. Also, if you don't know where the spyglass is, all you need to do is go to your mission radial, it should be there. So once you have done this two times, you'll be onto the third time. Now that time will be the keg. It is very important to note that when you do dig up that keg, the second that shovel goes in, the island around you is gonna start exploding. So if you do manage to die here, you're gonna have to restart the entire quest. So as soon as you dig it up, be ready to run off the island and preferably not in the same direction of the explosions, otherwise that'll be an easy way to die. So what I suggest you do is listen to the audio cues, then make sure you don't go in that direction. What you'll need to do is bring the keg onto your ship so you can start the next step. So the next step, once you have obtained the gunpowder barrel, what you'll need to do is head to Sailor's Bounty. Now that is in the far northwest side of the map. Once you do make it to Sailor's Bounty, you'll need to head for the middle of the island. Once you're at the middle of the island, go down into the cave, also with that gunpowder barrel in your hand. But what you'll need to do is watch out, because there'll be tons of traps between you and the final destination that you need to go to. So there are a few ground traps and there are a few wool spike traps. Be ready for them. Then you shouldn't end up losing your gunpowder barrel. If you do manage to fall victim to a trap with a gunpowder barrel in your hand, you will also fail this quest, and again, you will have to restart. So it's very important to note that you have to be careful when doing this. If you do get lost while you're going to the big room, all you need to do is follow the symbols. Honestly, it's not hard at all. So once you do manage to make it to the downstairs room, you'll notice that there is a pillar right in the middle. What you'll need to do is stock up on some fruit, then place the gunpowder barrel on that pillar. The moment you do place that gunpowder barrel on the pillar though, some skeletons will spawn and it'll be exactly like a fort. There will be around 10 waves you'll need to clear through, so make sure you are ready to fight. Now they're gonna continuously spawn once you kill the last one. So as I've said, be ready to fight. This is probably the longest step in the entire quest because it does take a while to get through it. But if you are competent at PVP, you'll find it a lot easier than someone who is new to the game. Also, if you are playing with a crew, get everyone to head down there because it will make things a lot easier. Now every time I have done this it's always been with one or two people and I didn't see the difficulty getting any harder but I'm not entirely sure if that does copy over with three and four. Do let me know if it does though, I want to know, so put it down in the comments. So once you have gone through all of the waves, you'll notice there'll be one final captain that spawns. Once that captain spawns, all you'll need to do is take him down and then you'll be on to the next step. Once you do defeat the final boss, a totem is going to drop. Now depending on what totem you get is depending on where you'll need to go. So right now I'm going to list every single totem that can possibly drop and what island correlates to that totem. If you get the boar totem, you'll need to head to Devil's Ridge. 
If you get the Scarab Totem, you'll need to go to Crook's Hollow. If you get the Snake Totem, you'll need to head to Mermaid's Hideaway. If you get the Shark Totem, surprisingly, you'll have to go to Kraken's Fall. If you get the Moon Totem, you'll have to go to Crescent Isle. And if you get the Crab Totem, you'll need to go to the Uncharted Island at N13. Also, down in the description, there is a written version of that, so have a look at that if you are confused. So once you have found what island you need to go to, you'll be on to the next step. Now you're almost there, this is the ninth step. So what you'll need to do is have a look for a vault. Now that vault is gonna be located near the totem that you have in your hand. So what I mean by that is if you have the snake totem, just have a look for a snake painting and then the vault should be there. So once you have found the vault, you'll be on to the 10th and final step. What you'll need to do is enter the vault then once you enter the vault, you'll need to light the pillars that are around the middle table. Once you light the pillars though, you will notice that a vault is going to instantly open. Don't rest assured because you're not finished. Once you do pick up the item that reveals itself inside the vault, you'll notice some skeleton bosses are going to spawn. All you'll need to do is clear the bosses, then put the medallions inside the middle table on the altar. Then once you have done this three times, you'll notice that the vault will open and then you will be done. Once you have completed this quest, head over back to Plunder Valley, then give the Shroudbreaker stone back to salty so with that being said that is the entire guide so if this video has helped what you can do to show your support is leave a like on the video also if you are confused at any point of this guide please put a comment down and i'll have a look and see if i can reply to you and help you out that being said though thanks for watching and i'll see you all in the next video Listen.